three mana. <laughs> I think that means we're live. If I'm not <coughs> entirely mistaken. <clears throat> Hi everyone, I hope you can see us well. Uh, we're, uh, this is a, uh, a new little setup we have got going here. Uh, we've never before, I hope, I hope, hope you can hear us okay. Um, we've never streamed uh, the two of us in the same uh, locale before, so I suppose I should try to be more up close and personal with, with my good friend Frederick here. <laughs> so, uh, hi everyone, how y'all doing? We've been joined by uh, a good, good couple of friends here in, in Valhalla where we're uh, streaming Haven and Hearth, which is uh, the game that Frederick and I are building, which is uh, what you've been looking at, what you are looking at. And uh, it's a uh, crafting survival MMO uh, uh, set in uh, a world loosely inspired by Slavic and Germanic myth and legend. Um, full PvP, open PvP, open uh, you know, permanent death, blah blah blah, all kinds of exciting and awesome feature building is one of the features of the game and we're going to do a little live stream tonight and we are uh, we are going to put a patch up which we have been uh, working on so uh, that is the uh, that's the the purpose of us being here tonight so uh, hi Frederick say hi to the kid, kids hi to the kids <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, I suppose. Um, we're uh, we're gonna we are going to do a couple of things before we put the patch up, and uh, basically, I figured that it could be a fun thing for us as a community <laughs> to uh, to do something fun together. So we are going to make a sausage together, and I'm going to take some input from you guys as to what you would like the sausage to. Um, to uh, contain, we're going to make a walrus sausage. Uh, you know, the main ingredient is going to be walrus meat, and um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to do. And after that, we're going to put the patch up and uh, take a screenshot of all the things that we've done. And uh, you can watch me edit the patch notes a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much the plan and the agenda for the evening. Feel free to ask uh, questions. Uh, Lofter is here, and that was a, a an oft recurring, oft recurring request last time we streamed. So uh, now he's here. I have no idea why. Uh, he has no idea why, and uh, I, I I have pushed him to this. Uh, so let for, let the record show that uh, that I have done that. And uh, feel free to ask him any questions, any and all. Um, why isn't push out done, for example? That's a good question. You can ask him that. And. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Norister126 asks uh, for crab food. Uh, I can uh, comfort you, I can and gladden your heart by informing you that I've already made crab cakes, so they are already going to be in after tonight's patch. Uh, obviously, uh, what the hell, some dork is sparring me. Um, you can perhaps spar, spar with Loftar instead. <laughs> and um, we're going to get to uh, making a, uh, a uh, the sausage that we were talking about earlier. Uh, so, uh, Frederick, any thoughts on the sausage? Uh, well, I think we've already discussed it more or less. Yes, we have. We uh, the, what's the? Could you explain the basic premise to the to the kids while I start uh, working on it? Well, the basic premise, as I as I as I originally suggested, is is the uh, the walrus and the carpenter. So for no for no good explained reason, uh, it uh, it will uh, the crafting, uh, what do you call it? The crafting quality will depend on your car on your carpentry carpentry value and. Uh, Aside from uh, walrus meat, it will contain uh, uh, boiled muscles. Boiled muscles, indeed. Uh, <laughs> should it, it should probably contain like pepper and vinegar as well. Yeah, reason, uh, reasonably so. Yep. Arguably so. Arguably so. And uh, so what we have, I'm working in blender, obviously, and what we have here is a silly little cylinder. So we're not gonna pay. Uh, we're not gonna perhaps make the uh, the world world's most uh, beautiful sausage, but it's gonna be a sausage nonetheless. And. Um, um, this is have hope that it is no, no less beautiful than the others already. Exactly. I mean, we Haven is, is obviously known first and foremost for its lush and beautiful graphics. Exactly. That is uh, one of the things. Um, <laughs> Buccinella asks Loftar, when can we expect the transition to the Unreal Four engine? Sorry, stupid question. Don't mind me. I love you both. Uh, yeah. Uh, any day now. Any day now. Yeah, working on really? that. Really. Uh, I have I have been doing nothing and nothing else for the past five years. <laughs> exactly, we're we're work hard at work, uh, getting uh, converting Haven to the Unreal Four engine. For Lofter, why do you hate Java? asks Artemis <laughs> WHB. Yeah. Lofter, why do you hate Java? Tell them. Why do I hate Java? Yeah, well, uh, this is a big topic. Yeah, is big it topic. is, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I, I or um, how should I express it? I guess. The uh, it is not unfair to say that my reasons for hating Java has uh, have shifted over the years, um, but really in the end it, it it's it's really fairly nebulous because I just mainly I just feel it's impossible to write nice code in Java, but it it's, it is it is admittedly not entirely obvious exactly why there. Originally, I hated Java because it was because it, because I felt it was restraining and um, um, not particularly good at expressing various constructs. And but uh, over the years, I have learned to to uh, uh, abuse Java <laughs> so that uh, <laughs> uh, 
so that it is less restrictive in that way. So we live in a kind of, in a kind of abusive relationship now. We we uh, we mistreat each other and hate each, and hate each other just uh, just as much. Um, but uh, but nevertheless, I mean, there are some objective reasons for hating Java, like the complete lack of meta programming features and whatnot. Complete lack of meta programming features. That's great. Look, uh, what I've done uh, right now is I've made a little cylinder with arguably far too many vertices, but Loftart tells me, assures me that it doesn't matter that much, and also <laughs> it's just a drop rest for for an object. So hopefully there won't be like a million of these sausages on screen at the same time. Uh, one can dream. I mean, when you smash a couple of cupboards of these, uh, I suppose that can quickly come to shame, that, that hope and uh, whatnot. And, um, and what we're doing now is we're unwrapping uh, the sausage. That means that we've made a seam in the sausage. You can see, you can see me add the seam here. Uh, it's this little red line here, which uh, indicates kind of where, where, we're, where and how we're going to unfold the sausage. And then we've made a UV map for the sausage right here. Uh, as you can see, I ran into some technical problems already in that I had to move my blender to uh, make room for the chat. <coughs> Smacko Bacon says, yeah, unwrap that sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and uh, now we're gonna gonna make a texture for the sausage. We have, uh, as you can see, we have now constructed the, the geometry for the sausage. And now we're going to construct the texture for the sausage. Uh, so that we're going to call it uh, Wurst underscore. What's it going to be called? Uh, uh, what do you guys think? What should be Carpenter? N name suggestion for the hot dog or the sausage. Uh, carpenter's Carpenter's dog. Carpenter's Wurst. Carpenter. Carpenter. Uh, the carpenter and the walrus. Quite simply. The carpenter and the walrus. Uh, that's that's good. Uh, carp wall. We'll call it <laughs> for short. Um, Nutty Walrus uh, suggests owner uh, of the pot of, pot of plant. What? <laughs> Nutty Walrus, he suggests. <laughs> Carpenter's schlong is uh, moustache dog. <laughs> Plenty of good suggestions there. Yeah, guys. really. <laughs> um, can you tell us a did Whatever, whatever. Um, so, Go on, you like the Java Virtual Machine though? You like that thing? Well, yeah. Could you talk a bit about that? I don't know. Like is perhaps no, an, an exaggeration. I just didn't, I just don't hate the, ver the Java Virtual Machine as badly as I hate the language. What is the Java Virtual Machine? It, it, is, it, is, a, it is a virtual machine. It is a, a pretend hardware that Java programs run on. Right on. Uh, it, uh, it is basically a program that translates Java, program into, uh, Java programs into programs that the real computer can run. Uh, and runs it and run them that way, uh, but uh, and it has ki some kind of nice features like like uh, like um, one thing that I have particularly learned to appreciate is the ability to portably load code uh, that is just downloaded. I mean, if you if you were to reproduce that be that kind of behavior in a language like C or C plus plus, you'd have to bend over backwards. Well, you know, kind of. You, uh, you, you, you'd, more, uh, you'd more or less have to either compile, uh, compile the code, pre-compile the code for every architecture you could run on, or you'd have to, you, you know, like include a library like LLVM or something to compile it on the fly, which would be akin to what the JVM itself does, of course. Uh, but the JVM does it for you. And uh, various other less than nifty things that you'd have to do, like, like um, comply with the Operating systems, library loading f features and stuff. Uh, that, that that would be that would be less than convenient without Java for sure. But I mean, the original, the, the really the original reason the reason we chose to write Haven in Java was was more or less only because of Java Web Start. But uh, who's running the show now? It's Oracle, right? And they've yeah. been they've been uh, going. Uh, yes, going exactly. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the I have uh, we have since had reason to regret that decision. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say Fire. since uh, since, Fire. <laughs> since Oracle since then decided to to require uh, being part of the certificate protection scheme uh, to to part to partake in the Java Web Start uh, and we're paying that treaty right now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So, so weren't you supposed to fix that? Yeah, I've I've more or less forgotten to be honest, but yeah, I, I've had uh, in plans to write my own launcher instead because as it turns out. Uh, most web browsers, including Chrome at least, will simply run a jar, a download a jar file more or less with some simple, with perhaps some simple warning, if even that, 
which is actually less warnings than you go through with your web store, even if you have a valid certificate. So there's little reason not to really. So basically, the client uh, screams like I don't know, you know what even the little. I don't, uh, I don't think it screams any longer, but the, but right the first time you run it, you at least have to you know inspect the certificate and accept it and whatnot, uh, which you don't have to do with a jar file. <laughs> Bees are washing beard uh, comments color that hole in. <laughs> And I think that's more sexual in innuendo coming coming my way, and uh, I can only agree, man. Like uh, drawing all these sausages and hot dogs, you know, you uh, learn to appreciate the phallic form. Yes, you certainly learn to appreciate the phallic form. Very well put. Wurstkartwal. That that is what we decided to call it. Internally, at least. Internally, at least. So you won't ever see that name, or maybe you will because you use an ugly custom client uh, for there's, the game. There's that, there's that of course. Displays those. So now we've made a texture uh, of sorts for the, uh, the schlong, schlong dog, schlong dog millionaire. And uh, now we're also going to set a material to it. And uh, the uh, tell us about uh, 3D materials, Haven. Or, or <laughs> I'll call or you Haven from now on. <laughs> aren't uh, aren't <laughs> I'm going to call you Salem from now on? <laughs> Fuck Slame. <laughs> Fuck Slame. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, aren't you more 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 equipped to tell to tell about three D materials, really? Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe not. I, I, I figured you built the three D rendering engine. I mean that's that's a yeah sure process. I guess I guess that's true. But uh, on the other hand, I don't I don't really know what to say about them. I mean, it's what can you say? It's really? Basically, the light settings for the uh, the uh, the object in question in terms of like how it reflects light. And yeah, I mean there is there is an internal conception of of OpenGL states basically that are applied when when rendering a when rendering a mesh, uh, which affects the shader and its inputs basically. And yeah, the material is basically a list of settings that determine the final shader and its inputs. Here's the sound. So. Side. so <laughs> So that's what materials are. <laughs> Those are materials indeed. Uh, and what we've done now, as you can see, we went to export the schlong dog. Boom. Now we have exported it. And uh, now we can go find it in, um, in my little project catalog here, or project directory, perhaps is a better word. And, catalog um, for the re for the record is the, is the word we use in Swedish. Indeed. So here we have <coughs> uh, the uh, the files in question, and we're just going to transfer those to the dev server. And uh, let's see where we have them. Here we go. There and there. Uh, those two we're going to need. That is the mesh file for the the dog and uh, the. Um, the texture that we just made for the dog. So those Which go is there. Particularly peculiarly named. Indeed. And I see that I've named it wrong. I used an underscore when it should simply be a dash. Yeah. Um, so uh, requests for bringing back back the wardrobe. Uh, any uh, any <laughs> <laughs> any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah. What are the reasons again why we haven't done it yet? Um, uh, actually, I think there are. Probably less reasons now that we implemented the the uh, equipment fix that allowed hot switching of uh, of equipped items and stuff. Uh, since then, I think there are probably le uh, but yeah, the reason is that um, I guess the uh, it's it's not it's not really a reason not to implement the wardrobe at all. But but as the wardrobe function in leg in legacy. It uh, it had a number of slots each of which saved the uh, avatar of your character while while he was wearing the equipment saved in that slot, and the point or the reason why the wardrobe kind of sucked in Legacy was that uh, there are, there were many items that couldn't be that couldn't be swapped out in, the, in their entire in their entirety like um, most particularly I guess backpacks uh, and and the the avatars uh, in old hey, in in legacy and before the equipment fix uh, the uh, the uh, the order the world could for technical reasons only only swap the entire the entire equipment at once. Uh, this is this is not this is not necessarily true any longer now that the equipment now the that the equipery as I call it has been fixed, but uh, saving the. Uh, 
saving the avatar of only some equipped items, it's all the more difficult. The avatar can, can, can currently only be snapshotted in its entirety, and therefore, if only some items were transferred to the wardrobe, then the avatar would not uh, would not entirely correspond to the equipment actually saved therein, and so forth. We wouldn't want that. No. Uh, as you can see, we have now exported the uh, the uh, the dog that we made earlier. Uh, I think it's a bit too tad, too big, so <laughs> I'm going to scale it down a bit, like so. And uh, we're going to re-export that thing. And you're going to watch me go through some of the some of the same motions I did from just now. Now, of course, many items are nevertheless overscaled, so that they yeah, I think I, I tend to zoom out mode. Yeah, exactly. Um, I tend to err on the side of comically oversized, so as to make a couple of more pixels worth of difference when you're kind of zoomed out. Um, so that there's more than one pixel to click on. Exactly. <laughs> and okay. so that you can actually appreciate all the fine distinctions of in the, uh, the schlong uh, that I've... That's more reasonable, I think. So now we've made the terrain object for the dog. Now we need to make the um, inventory object for the dog. And since I am a lazy fucker, uh, I'm simply going to take a little picture of the dog by using print screen. Heading over to uh, my tr trusty, <laughs> trusty paint shop pro. Because what else do you tried need? Tried and true. Tried and true and tried true, tried true, true and tested. All of those things. And um, I'm gonna have to. Whoops. When when again was this version of paint shop pro released? Uh, I think 2001 maybe. Oh, it's that new. Yep. In 2004, the oh. last copyright is, uh, seems to be from copyright. Basically yesterday. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. Uh, we're going to, and there's our little little dog that we made. And we're going to go to the appropriate uh, sub-layer of my uh, silly file here, which is called food. We're going to put the dog there, and we're going to zoom in. And here are all the other. Uh, sausages that we have in the game and we're gonna make an icon for it so these are the two components that any uh, food dish in uh, Haven needs in order to be functional and uh, now we're gonna have to resize that a bit like say to 20 I think it's too much still maybe 15% I can't use pixels uh, Good question. Uh, Archaeolog asks, on the last stream, you got, you told us you guys already have two-handed sword on the dev server. Did you add it already, or and we just didn't discover the recipe yet? We have not added the two-handed sword uh, yet. We but have not deemed you were the object yet. <laughs> <laughs> and again, why aren't you using pixels instead? Because fuck you, that's why. Okay. There we go. Uh, there's the dog. Unusually small, perhaps, but that's fine. See, Yorb doesn't tend to like when I question his inefficiencies. Probably <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, smug, smug, I don't even know what. So now we made, we're gonna. Uh, Aussie Swagger asks, uh, what are the huge mushrooms in the mine holes gonna be for? Four? Or and don't they already have all the purpose they need? Exactly. They are tree material. What more do you need them for? Uh, Granger asks, why not <coughs> render the 2D icon from the 3D model? Well, that's what we're doing, Granger. Indeed. Uh, rendering the, the hot dog uh, quite simply in the inventory uh, would probably... Not look as good, quite simply. Exactly. Probably... Not give me you are, you are, even when he takes and even when your takes makes the inventory objects from screenshots he always touches them up a bit exactly to the best of my admittedly limited abilities so here we go something like that maybe so 
I think Granger mean automation. Well, I, I think my point was that I don't think the task is necessary. I mean, first of all, this method doesn't work for all objects. There are plenty of, plenty of objects where uh, rendering from 3D doesn't make sense. Uh, for example, more abstract objects such as sense or whatever, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, so, and secondly, you can do things in 2D that you cannot do in 3D. You can, you know, play with the perspective more. You can, uh, you know, do more ad hoc things that blah, 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 blah. And uh, so for that reason, 2D has its charms, quite, sim quite simply. Uh, and the underworld. All right, let, let's just, let me just scroll up here, see if we missed any good questions. Uh, wardrobe. Yeah, the question was, are you going to upload the stream to YouTube? Yes, <laughs> we are. We are going to do that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that seems we, we seem to be on track. Uh, <laughs> uh, Archaeolog asks, does Loftar know that we still have one bugged quest giver that was destroyed, but still figure in our quests? Ah uh, yes, I was perhaps aware. I th I, uh, I noticed I, I, when I when I looked at it, I noticed that the object was destroyed, and therefore I thought it harmless. But perhaps it isn't. Uh, I'd need the name of it to fix it. I think I have the name in my PMs. Uh, so what was the name we agreed on? Walrus and the Carpenter. Uh, yeah, should it be the Walrus and the Carpenter. Should it or should Wal it? So walrus, should it just be walrus, walrus and, and Carpenter. Carpenter. Walrus and Carpenter. That's good. Walrus and Carpenter. That's great. And now we're going to save Walrus and Carpenter. <laughs> Beach Beast Roost was the suggestion, <laughs> which was not a bad suggestion. Which is not a bad suggestion, perhaps, but uh, but obviously not thematic enough. Carp Wall. Indeed. There we go. And we're now going to. <coughs> Oops. Add the inventory icon over to this little directory called inbox. Now we should have it. Do you want to go ahead and add the sausage, Frederick? Sure. So now I'm I'm sending Frederick over to um, to Kodistan to. Uh, to actually implement the dog and uh, let us know when you get to the FDP specifications and whatnot. Uh, what was the carp wall? Was it? Uh, yeah, carp wall. Ooh, yeah, and also we need a crafting recipe for it. Indeed. So we're gonna add that as well. The, the, uh, there's some uh, some unfortunate duplication here, but uh, that is what that is. Uh, is there an input type for boiled mussels for that matter? Uh, Perhaps not. And we're gonna have to uh, find a yes, suitable hotkey for it. So we go to the sausage menu to see what what is available. If you know what I mean. It doesn't work. Yeah. W, w maybe? No. There is no input type for boiled mussels. Should should there be raw or boiled mussels in it? Boiled mussels, right? Makes it a bit more of a pain to make. Blah, blah, blah. You get the chance to get a pearl. But actually, they eat them live, don't they? Or do they boil them in the poem? Uh, they probably eat them live in the poem, I think. But, but uh, they're, 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 more eating, they're, they're also eating oysters, not. No, it isn't true that, but um, but there is also the fact to consider that the walrus meat is raw. So therefore, it seems to make more sense that the okay. oysters are raw too. All right, so I should um, Do we have some tool to find an unavailable hotkey? Uh, not find an available hotkey. Still find an unavailable hotkey. Uh, U, U is probably uh, no. L 
that's certainly not available. We're running out of sausage space. Sausage <laughs> space. This is horrible. Oh, what is that? What is that? S. S is available, I think. Mm. S is available. How many S is available? Loftar, why are you trying to summon Cthulhu in class skeleton? Private track. Yeah, Cthulhu Fdang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where in all that worm was a question? <laughs> and why are you trying to summon Cthulhu? I didn't know I was. Okay. You, you don't recognize this thing? No, uh, not really. Aussie Swagger asks, are you going to implement that Pia claim obeying the Via claim thingy I told you about on PM? Perhaps you should explain to the stream what this thing that you're suggesti su suggesting is. I'm not sure I get that. Uh, no, uh, um, no, uh, it's he, he wants it to be possible to kind of subject a P private claim under a village claim, to, to have the village claim like, uh, please surrender to me. Demand the, the uh, so that the, so that the, okay. the the village claim will be counted as older than the private claim, so that the private claim can voluntarily give up its status of being older than the village claim. Oh, I see. Are you with me? That was what he was asking for. I see. We are not in a hurry to implement this, but I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad idea either. Indeed. Uh, But then again, it seems the only reason for doing that would be so that the village can remove it. Yep. Of course. And then he could just remove the claim instead. No, but I mean, no. You want you want to have control over all claims on your own, but not necessarily. Seems like a rather marginal thing, though. And the carpenter. Well, what did we call it? Walrus and carpenter, or? And we just called it walrus and carpenter. Yep. And craft harp wall. Yes. There we go. This is a little specification file to indicate where in the crafting menu the uh, recipe goes. And it. Uh, I think. I think those are all the resources we need to implement a. Uh, yes. So then I guess we can just specify the FAPS. Yep. The FAPS. So uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what. Uh, what sh what f f 50 plus 2 strength. <laughs> Quite simply. <laughs> Am I right? Please, please suggest some, uh, some reasonable FEPs. What would, what would make sense? It's a shame that there is no FEP for carpentry. Yeah, <laughs> it is indeed. Uh, will is always attractive, I figure. <laughs> <laughs> Artemis suggests Will and Con. Olip suggests Dex and Will. Charisma, charisma is popular. Yeah. Two will, uh, two charisma. Shublas suggestion. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one very much. <laughs> yes, let's run with that. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will and con. Will and con. Will and lore. Charisma. Will and lore. You can't give. Lore is not a exact value. value so that's lore is not a fat value. Cold. You it makes sense, but. Uh, dexterity synergizes with carpentry. It does. It Fair does. enough. And uh, and the uh, the poem is kind of trippy, so some psyche could perhaps be motivated. Yeah, the, that that is true. So, so dexterity and psyche. Dexterity, psyche. Uh, maybe throw in like one point of con as well. Sure. Uh, maybe maybe like three dex, uh, one two con, maybe a con plus two fep. Uh, yeah, or alternatively, uh, Dex plus two. Or alternatively, Psyche plus two. Mm, makes like, some sense, perhaps. Like, let's do like three, three con, uh, two will. Will? Well, it wasn't supposed to be Dex. Oh, sorry, Dex. Three con, two Dex, and one Psyche plus two. Isn't three Dex, two con better? Three Dex, two con, one Psyche plus two. Yeah. Sounds good enough. We have decided. Uh, the buffs fish, perhaps? 
The most fish, definitely. Is it fish? There should be a category for seafood. Uh, true enough, but lacking yeah. that. Sure, it can be fish. And uh, maybe it's on only fish? Uh, <laughs> maybe walrus, walry in this con context uh, <laughs> count as fish. When they've been mixed with the magic of the mussels, they transmute into fish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just all, all, all the sausages are meat. I mean, I could remove it explicitly if all I right, wanted no, to. No, but no, 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 you don't have to go that crazy. <laughs> fish and sausage. Yep. Fish and sausage and meat, I suppose. Yep. Yep. No, that's good. Then perhaps it is a worse idea to have the buff fish, though. Yeah. But 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 I I'm fairly sure they eat bread with the mussels, so it can be buff bread. Uh, bread is great. <laughs> is this sausage now useless compared to the rest? It looks kind of useless, doesn't it? It, uh, it? it looks a bit useless, but then again, I guess it's not. I, I guess it depends on the recipe in the end. You can't give it six luck points. That, that's terrible. Sure. Uh, well, um, the, the, yeah. The other one, uh, some of the other ones have that. Yeah, one. but that's a big one. You sure. Should, should look at like Elk Dog gives three, and uh, like Link Salami, I think, gave two. Make it two. Make it a good one. Make it two. Okay. We're making him and Gray again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I guess that's it for the FAPS. Yep. Uh, so then there's just the, uh, the recipe to go and to consider then. Yeah, the recipe. Um, and uh, so that uh, so what should the best or the recipe be then? I am currently set to two to two pieces of walrus meat and two mussels. Two walrus, two mussels. It would perhaps not be entirely unreasonable to, to demand more mussels than walrus meat. Three mussels? No, that's too much. That's too much. Well, well, I mean, the, ma the map is swarm with mussels, but sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, but inventory management, etc, etc. And also one piece of intestines, right? Yeah, of course. And vinegar and one one pepper, uh, like droop, dried, whatever it's called. <coughs> you, uh, oh, yeah, sure, what you missed called again. Dried pepper poison. And we're also... And how much vinegar? Five units? Yep, five units, sounds good. So here's, here are the patch notes uh, under Let's just try that out. Under or whatnot. I will never eat this. Yes, I'm never making this sausage. <laughs> so, of course you are. Okay, so what would make it good enough for you to make it? Be constructive here. We're helping out. <laughs> worst sausage ever. The chat is in uproar. <laughs> it's the worst <laughs> sausage ever. You are free to speak out on what would make it not useless. What would make it not useless? Give us some suggestions. So what would make it not useless? Give us some suggestions. Yes, we did fix the shield. There was a bug with shields. Uh, shields promised uh, gold and, and green forests. But gave neither. But gave neither. They promised armor, but gave nothing. So there, there you go. There it is. Always the carpenter. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's make it. Let's make it worth it. Let's let's up the feps like until they're happy. Let's just make give it more fun. <laughs> Where did I put it? There it is. Uh, so what should I um, should I double it? Uh, what would that? Imp what would that? What would that? Imp Six plus four plus two. Uh, oh yeah, try it. We'll try it. We'll double it. We'll double it. We'll double it. <laughs> We're going to build a wall. Mexico is going to pay for the wall. <laughs> you heard it here. Uh. Okay, so we're going to make a little note in the patch notes that we added a uh, walrus 
added. Uh, you you can also the technical process of, of adding notes to the patch notes. Exactly, it's a very technical and involved process. And you can also cheat and read ahead and uh, whatnot. Um, let's see. Um, added uh, carpenter and walrus sausage. That's we call it carpenter and walrus, right? Uh, yes. Show it to me, baby. I made it yet, though. I need to repair my meat grinder first. Uh, right. Can I play daddy? Asks or, s or asks or requests. Uh, please make us able to attach hooks and strings to fisherman's hat for inventory efficiency. <laughs> or maybe scoop net uh, fish only bag. Um, we've, we've we have generally considered making various kinds of special purpose containers yeah. like mushroom baskets and whatnot, um, but we're kind of still on the fence on, on how exactly they should work. I think an item that takes only mushrooms seems a bit narrow to me, but uh, um, it's also a lot of requests for herring. We'll, next time we stream we'll add herring. <laughs> So look forward. Look, look forward to getting one year. Hold your horses. <laughs> Contain the excitement. <laughs> we're also uh, for the the screenshot uh, for the patch notes. We're gonna have to take a screenshot for that. So, uh, and also we're gonna we're gonna wall. Uh, can we do that? Like yeah, we can do that. Send a little wall message uh, informing that we yeah, not that we're restarting the server, but that the devs are streaming. I mean. No. Oh. Well, you can do that. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I was but, gonna but do that. <laughs> then tell me so. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, wow, devs are streaming at you. Wall, wall, and message. Check my stream, Matt. Yes, exactly. Like, comment, subscribe. So now it's six four two. Huh? So now it's six four two. Yes. Yeah, so we're total of twelve feps. Twelve feps at quality ten. At quality ten, that's too fucking crazy. <laughs> Let's up it to three hunger then. <laughs> that, that's too crazy. I'll up to three hunger. Um. Blah, blah, blah. There was a question here. Yeah, Buccinella asks, Bruder Bone. That's me. Uh, will uh, Wolverine be voiced by Hugh Jackman? Uh, and uh, the answer, <laughs> it's a funny <laughs> observation, when you Google Wolverine, uh, you get more pictures of this silly American movie than you get of the actual uh, creature, uh, Gulo Gulo, or whatever it's called. I find that uh, abhorrent, truth be told. I find that I, uh, words cannot express my disgust at this. Someone, someone commented that the game is lagging, and that is not the case at all. Uh, the game is simply unfocused. This is a feature of the game that whenever it's not in focus, it scales down. Uh, the FPS. The FPS. This is so that, so that, so that you, you little fuckers can run multiple <laughs> clients at once. <laughs> this was a concession I made to you. <laughs> it was a nice thing, so you can see why we shall have to remove it sometimes. Um, okay, so now we're going to take a little screenshot. Uh, let's let's take a screenshot of all this nonsense. Uh, it has very little bearing on the actual <laughs> patch, but it could perhaps be serve as a good uh, good screenshot. Um, <laughs> the keyword being perhaps. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I need a little better, bit of a better view, like so. And there's a three guys with devs suck signs. We should make a devs rule sign. Mm -hmm. Something and like off the price on the dev side. Exactly, side. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Charge twenty bucks for that fire. Uh, we're gonna save that. Uh, Your when will you update the game's trailer? Good question. We should probably do that. Uh, I noticed that the audio should probably be like normalized or whatever. It's really loud or compared really? to all my other sources. Okay. What else is there that would need to be changed on though? 
<laughs> I mean, it's perfection, right? <laughs> I can't imagine otherwise. <laughs> I mean, surely. I guess, if anything, I think it's still says like it will be released in August 2015 or something. That's true. So that we should, we should that probably perhaps yeah, that's an optimal. And, and, you know, we should probably just make a new trailer just to show off some of the new cool nonsense that's Arguably, in perhaps, but making a trailer takes like an entire day. Yes, this is, this is a true fact. A true fact. So now we're going to see where I put, put the screenshot that we just took. 93, I think. There we go. Oops. Oops. There we go. And we're going to include that in the patch notes. So, you, so that everyone who reads the patch notes can see what a fun time we had together. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. blah. It would be awesome if you would add moose and squirrel sausage. They're, they're like, you know, material here for like a whole season worth of streams where we <laughs> add like sausages every time. <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. Was that an explicit request for a sausage containing moose and squirrels? Uh, no, I... Uh, because there are moose squirrel, uh, moose uh, sausages shortly. That is true. There are moose sausages. Uh, Mr. Lazaka asks, are you going to expand world borders in the future? Now we're going to contract them. We're going to build a wall. <laughs> Mexico is going to pay for the wall. <laughs> now, um, who knows? Who knows? If, if there's any... World, world resets border. and expansions are, are unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of, uh, you know, feeling the vibe at the moment and, uh, you know, taking... If taking, needs be. Yeah, exactly. If need be, we will. Um... Drake the Hero asks, what do you guys think of a fitness system that makes your character look fat, skinny, or muscular, depending on what actions the character makes most? More, ca more character custom oh. customization would be very nice, but uh, it's also a very large project, and uh, it's, uh, it, it is not obvious to what extent it is worth it. Exactly. Uh, it's a lot of work, and it would, you know... It, uh, Oh, by the way, just so you know, you will need to update your client soon. I have already pushed the code to GitHub. The code is pushed to GitHub if you wish to update your custom client uh, for this patch. You will need to do that. Um, so, uh, so feel free to do that, uh, if you who are custom client makers. Um, Artemis WHB, uh, so in regards to the customization question, it's a lot of work basically and blah blah, so... Uh, you know, it, it would be a nice thing. It would be a, it definitely be a nice thing, but it would but also there are, but there require... Are things that would be nice. Yep, exactly. And it would require like remaking the entire character model and maybe that could be good from an aesthetic point of view. There are several things that I would like to improve on, but... Um, improve on perfection. Th that's just me. Okay. Improving on perfection is my, so. is my thing. Sure. But um, it would also uh, be a lot of work and blah, blah, blah. So uh, there's that. Uh, uh, there was a, another question. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Can we ever expect potatoes? No, not likely. Not likely. Not bloody likely, man. There, <laughs> there are... You can expect turnips. Indeed. There are many crops that could be added, but potatoes is, are, are perhaps not first on that list. Potatai, dare, <laughs> I, dare I call it, potatai. <laughs> uh, Squeaky asks, will you remake the animal models at some point, or would you ever accept donated player-made remakes of premium model models? Uh, just before we answer <laughs> the question, I'd just like to point out that it's not actually called potatai. That's not, that's a full no, Latin, no, no, that's full Latin. That's Latin. not true. It's yeah. not actually called potato. not actually called wall, right? Not called wall right, you know. Some some people in the third taught us that. So. Yes. It's a good thing we now know. Um, uh, we we are not going to accept player made models. I agree that the links uh, could could use uh, a remake. Um, yeah, I think that's where that stands. Um, quite simply, uh, what was I don't know. Uh, any thoughts on how to replace missing food bonuses from the lost tri quality system? Do we need them? Like, isn't food already great? You mean like the lessening of all hunger and stuff? Yeah. I, well, my, my spontaneous thought is that that's not needed. I mean, exactly. uh, my, my, my reaction in the previous world was that food was just too good at high quality. Exactly. There were, there were the raising quality did, did too much good for the food. 
Yeah, there was a huge disparity between like the normal abilities, like carpentry and sewing, and blah blah blah, and the the FEP values, and that the the former yeah. were much much higher, and that seemed kind of off. That being said, I mean, there's certainly more room now for more like symbol items and that kind of nonsense. Yeah, certainly. It's a mechanic in the game where you can set a nice table, and the nicer you set the table, uh, the more you can eat, and the more you can eat, the more you level up. So that's a fun mechanic of the game. Um, Uh, why did you guys make high quality nodes of soil, water, and everything so common everywhere around the world? Don't you think that's going to kill trading a bit? It's kind of hard for us to predict what the nodes are going to look like since there yeah. you know, is an intentional element of randomness to it. So it's not that if you think they're too high, it's not that we have intentionally made any like grand you know, board. For that matter, board I don't meeting. think we changed that this world. No, we didn't change the, how the ran randomization of those things work. So it's just the luck of the draw of this world. And um, maybe they should be lower generally for the next world. Anyway. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I kill my guys. Oh my god, you added Curio learning time to into the client, finally. <laughs> yes, we did. So that's all in the patch notes, if you took the time to read them. And um, really, the only reason why we haven't added it thus far is because we haven't been able to decide <laughs> just how to present it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, because we, when we specify time uh, in, in the game, we specify it in uh, in game time. In game time, and that's for like historical reasons and blah blah, blah. or you know, and for aesthetic reasons perhaps. For various reasons, quite simply. For various reasons, and uh, um, that looks ugly as shit if you convert it to real life time. Yeah, because you know, if if something is specified like twelve hours in in in, in game time. When you divide it by three point twenty nine, which is the real the real two in game time ratio, then you know it becomes some strange non -num non numerological value that no one wants to look at ever. Yep, exactly. And, and um, while on the other hand, when you when we specify it as in game time, it is not obvious to everyone that it is in game time. Exactly. You know, if you look at something that says five days to study and it isn't in fact five days, then that might give people the wrong impression. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, there's another... Uh, Re-implement cartography to share map data in-game. Um, I, I think that that's kind of <laughs> superfluous when you can like create share all Share map of data out of game. Exactly. That makes the in-game mechanic look kind of bleak. If we put restrictions on how, because that's all we can do with mechanics really, is restrict how well you can share map data. Um, by requiring resources and nonsense, and if we do that, then... You know, There's no reason to use it. Exactly. The out-of-band method of sharing information quickly becomes much better, and th then our in-game version looks a bit silly, which was the sad fate of uh, legacy cartography. Yeah. Roy Raw suggests, uh, let community make new trailer. I think we've discussed that from time to time, actually. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's uh, not always, um, you know, I, I don't necessarily want to say that it's, that it's not guaranteed that it will be of low quality, but... But it will be of low quality. Yeah, there, there is a certain risk, of course, but that's not really the main point. The main point is perhaps rather that, uh, you know, will it be something that we will aesthetically agree with. Exactly. Uh, and, um... Uh, what are your thoughts on people building palisades uh, around localized resources and claiming just the gate? I wasn't aware that that was a thing. And how does that work? Is, is the localized resource kind of boxed in or something? I, I don't no, know. I, I haven't seen that. haven't seen this thing. So send me a screenshot and I may develop an opinion on this matter. Any chances of bigger tables for more symbol items? I would actually like to have like long tables where you know you could sit several people at the same table without you know it being like just a row of small tables, and uh, so that's one thing that I would like. But that's uh, kind of 
iffy to define well, like to, to develop mm -hmm. a model for, for how that should work, because obviously we can't do it on, on or like we wouldn't want to do it on an ad hoc basis <coughs> for every damn ta table. Yeah, and there is also perhaps at least the question of what happens. I mean, does that mean that suddenly you only need one gold plate to feed 10 people, to feed 10 people? No, that, that can't be what it means, obviously. <laughs> um, so there are definition problems with it. Um, what about blunt weapons? That's a good question. I think blunt weapons are sorely underrepresented. Yeah, in the game. certainly. Uh, I, I don't know. My, I don't know what your thoughts on it are, but my problem with 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 the weapon suggestion is usually that it's not obvious what these weapons would do that other weapons don't already do. I don't, I, th weapons. I think we could think of something like you. You know, you can give them like bonuses, bonus boni. <laughs> <laughs> Bonuses and stuff, uh, you know, to, to you, I think you can d differentiate them meaningly, especially under the the new uh, fighting system. We at least have better options than we used to have. So Perhaps I think it, I think it can be done, but um, um, but uh, yeah. So uh, blunt weapons are certainly underrepresented, and I wouldn't uh, necessarily mind adding them. It's all it's perhaps uh, all the I don't know. I'm not sure they add that much. I mean, it would be fun, I guess. Would be kind of fun to speak softly and carry a big stick. <laughs> uh, uh, the real maze. Ask like three times now. Can you guys remove the need to get multiple copies of each move? It's far too tedious with the current system. Have it so you get one, you can put as many points as you like into the skill. Um, I think you will, I think you should read tonight's patch notes before. Before, before asking that again. Before asking that again. Um, sledgehammer as a weapon. Sledgehammer should definitely be a weapon. Yeah. Uh, kind it of relates to the, to the previous question, a question obviously. Obviously, but uh, yeah, I, I <coughs> definitely think uh, sledgehammer should be a weapon. I haven't actually made one of these fuckers yet. <laughs> Here's a creature that we're going to add tonight. It is the mighty Wolverine. God damn it. I have no combat deck on this character. <laughs> Unfortunate. I have full circle in this <laughs> combat deck. I have full circle. Does Hold Circle not require any, any initiative points? That's interesting. Does that make it strictly better than chop and stuff? Lunarius Age, uh, hoping I'll get some kind of response to this. Is there any chance we'll have the ability to have brand new players start at our village, like with Legacy Charter Stones? Yeah, it's called Wilderness Beacons. Yeah, exactly. You can already do that. I don't really, I mean, but I suppose what he ha he's asking for is uh, an unsolicited way of doing it. Exactly. Um, I I don't know. I I don't think it worked out too well in Legacy. Yeah. I think there are like a, a ton of problems with it. Like the I mean, it's a cute idea, which is obviously why we tried it. But um, it's kind of like usually people just use it for trolling. Like the the default case with it seems to be trolling, in my opinion. Indeed. And. Um, it's a nice thing, so we can't have it. And of. well, for that matter, actually, did we remove the ability to, to spawn at, at Charter Stones? Mm, no, I don't think so. I think you can spawn it by a Charter Stone. I'm actually not sure. I would, 